If you're an Unreal Engine 4 developer, stop what you're doing and listen up. For real, this isn't clickbait. There is one essential tool that if you don't have yet, you need to get your hands on. This, and I mean this genuinely, will revolutionize the way you program and develop your games. I got a question for you. Do any of these situations sound familiar? You're working in the animation state graph, and you think, man, this is super cool. I wish I could use control states like this in normal blueprints and not just animation. Or maybe you're using Unreal's default AI system and you feel like, man, this is cool, I guess. But all these blackboard and sequences and selectors and whatnot is super confusing and a lot to keep track of. I really wish I could set up my own AI system that's made specifically for my project in mind and that I can control the flow of more. Or maybe, you want to create a dialogue system for your game. You spent hours, days, even weeks searching YouTube in the asset store for a dialogue system tool, only to end up with something that only barely functions the way you want it to, or doesn't have the necessary features you need, or is just massively confusing to set up and requires you to develop many workarounds in order to get certain things working the way you want it. Well, I think I've found the solution to all your problems. I realize this is starting to sound like an infomercial at this point, but I swear I'm not sponsored or anything. I just really love this tool. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce Logic Driver Pro. So what is this, you might ask? Well, I'm glad you did, and I will tell you. Logic Driver Pro is a plugin for Unreal Engine 4 that allows you to create game logic based on object states, rather than just functions and events. Basically, by default in Unreal Engine 4, with blueprints and C++ coding, game logic is handled by events and functions. Basically, if A, then B. You're familiar with this all, I'm sure, and it works great. But here's the problem. There are many, many, many times when you want to control the flow of events in your game based on certain states and conditions. For example, whether an enemy is patrolling an area or attacking the player will result in them running completely different events and functions. Now, you can do this currently, but the issues are that you have to design workarounds, like having a bunch of booleans, string tags, or enumerator switches. It can become super inconvenient, especially the more states and situations you want to account for. And if something goes wrong, it's an absolute nightmare to try and locate the issue among the spaghetti code you've set up. Well, with Logic Driver Pro, you can forget about all those problems entirely. If you've used animation state machines before, Logic Driver uses state machines that run very similar. So what can you do with this? Anything you can f***ing imagine. Do you want a branching dialogue system? You can make it. You want to set up a unique system for artificial intelligence? You can do it. Maybe you want a quest and mission system that will branch off in different ways depending on certain player choices? Can do. Want the player to switch between different states of functionality depending on the state of gameplay? Boom. I'm developing a first-person shooter called The Orpheus Project, which you should totally check out, link in the description, and work on prototypes for interesting game ideas I have all the time. This is effectively my full-time job, and I'm telling you right now, Logic Driver Pro has completely and utterly revolutionized the way I design and program for my games. It's all super easy to get to grips with, too. On the first day, I created a fully functioning artificial intelligence system for the enemies in the Orpheus project. And I'm still using it now. Even though I have to program it all myself, I already much prefer using it over behavior trees. And I've barely scratched the surface of what you can do with Logic Driver Pro. And although I'm almost exclusively a blueprint programmer, it has full functionality for blueprints and C++ for those who use that. Now there are a few things you need to know about it first. To start with, it's 75 US dollars by default. So while it's not a super big investment, it may be a bit pricey, particularly for new developers. There is, however, a light version that is only 35 US dollars, with the ability to upgrade to Pro for a reduced cost if you'd rather try that out. The other thing is that there are some bugs you may find in a few odd places. For example, I found that using certain special characters, like colons, in state names can cause the editor to crash while trying to compile the state machine. However, this is the only one I've personally run across so far, and I was able to get it sorted out in just a few hours thanks to the help of the creator, who, let me say, was incredibly helpful. He's quick to communicate with you and really cares about making the best product he can, so I'm super happy to be able to help him out. Guys, I really cannot emphasize enough how amazing this tool is. If you're a solo developer or part of a team, you seriously need to check out Logic Driver Pro. Especially if you're someone like me, who loves the process of creating your own logic trees, not to mention seeing them pay off the way you hoped. 
I guarantee you will not regret it. That's all I got. You can check out Logic Driver Pro with a link in the description. I'm out.